I was muted again. Uh, oh my gosh. I switched profiles. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I do this almost every time because I unmute my microphone on here and then I realize it's not unmuted on OBS. <laughs> Oopsie daisies. That's okay, though. I'm here. Welcome, everyone. I think this is the fifth installment now of the uh, Planet Zoo randomly generated zoo stream. Very exciting today. Um, we are going to be spinning the wheel, of course. Last episode, we got a llama with some autumnal foliage. Uh, and then this time, who knows what we'll get. Feel free to drop your predictions in the chat. Um, hmm, I don't know how long today's stream is going to be. It's going to be at least a couple hours. But I don't know if we're going to have time for two habitats today. It just depends on how long I take on the habitats. So likely we're just going to do one, but that's okay. <laughs> um, it'll still be fun and we're going to make sure it's a really good one. Uh, anyways, how y'all doing? Hey, hello, Ancient Fossil and Plazzy Zoo Man, Starship, uh, Very Chunky, Manta Ray, Mr. Monkey, Jurassic Mation and Banana GT. You hope it's a snow leopard? That would be fun. Building for the big cats are very fun. Also, oh my gosh, I went on a hike yesterday um, for the first time in like a solid minute because it's been raining a lot. So it finally got super warm out and we went on a hike. I went to one of my favorite state parks in the area. There was so much wildlife there. I want to show you guys a picture. So let me rotate my phone. We found this butterfly. It's called a pipe vine swallowtail. Oh my gosh, the ring light makes it like so bright. <laughs> if you can see it though, it's so pretty. It was so blue. I wish I could get a picture of like the top side of their wings. So that's kind of like the inside of it when they're like, you know, they're like that. But then when they're like this, the back side of it is like, really bright blue and orange but i couldn't get a picture you know because you don't want to like touch it and i don't want to hurt the poor butterfly but it was just standing there or just sitting there in the middle of the trail uh it was super amazing my friend that i was hiking with almost stepped on it i was like oh my god watch out um and the butterfly like fluttered a little bit as he was like stepping over it um but it was so cool like, it was the prettiest freaking butterfly I've ever seen. We saw, like, 10 different species of butterflies yesterday. This is the only one I got a picture of because it was standing still. But there was another swallowtail. Um, there's a lot of swallowtails out. Like, I've never seen this many swallowtails because usually I only see the, like, what is it, like, the tiger swallowtails out. But this is the first time I've ever seen a wild pipevine swallowtail, which is really cool. And then there was, like, a black swallowtail as well. And then there was just, like, a bunch of other like little butterflies and stuff it was so cool tons of flowers out i didn't get so many pictures because i was super in the moment but i had to take a picture of the pipe vine swallowtail because it was just so pretty like i mean come on i'm showing you guys this again because it is cool as hell like oh my god that is the prettiest thing ever <laughs> i love looking at old pictures of my dog I feel that i love my dogs Oop, my camera went out of focus Back here. Maybe I gotta show the butterfly again. It wants the butterfly instead. Butterfly is pretty. My ring light is totally like getting a, a reflection in there. <laughs> Just finished building in JW2, so sorry. I'm a bit late. No, you're not at late, late at all. You're right on time, man. Let's see. Uh, again, I didn't take a lot of pictures, but I also... There were turkey vultures. Tons of them. I mean, they're really common, but I love them. They're nature's garbage disposals. I wish that you guys could see this easier. But he was just right there, standing on the branch. What a cute little guy. I love turkey vultures. They're amazing. They make me happy. Um, I found a dead mouse, but we're, we won't show that on stream. Um, <laughs> but it's super cool. And then I'll just show you guys, like, this wasn't from the this hike, but this is from the last hike. Wow, it's so blown out. You can kind of see it if I go like this. This is a... Uh, baby blue eyes flower and it's one of my favorite flowers so it's so cool i found an old picture of my sister getting bit by a camel that's wild how does it was that like in a zoo or something because that's that's wild honestly <laughs> yeah i just love showing uh you know pictures of the flowers i see because i love flowers like 
Lupine. And kind of easy, easier to see it if I do this, but Lupine is like amazing. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Yeah. So I'm so excited. I'm going to try and go hiking next week as well, which I'm really excited for um, to a different spot to see more of the flowers and maybe more butterflies. Now I like feel like I'm in Animal Crossing and I got to I got to get all of the butterflies. I got to see all of them. I need to make a book for all of my like bugs and stuff that I collect by by seeing them in the wild. <laughs> Missed the last two random generators because I was at school. Hey, no worries. You're this one now. And you can always watch the VODs. They're always public. Did you see the solar eclipse? Yeah, I didn't see it. I wasn't in the zone of totality. I'm in Northern California. Um, so ours, supposedly, I didn't see it. Looked like you, like you had the sun and then the shadow is kind of like that. Like that was kind of all you saw. But I was driving, so I didn't look at it. Um, coming back from a meeting. So didn't get to see it. Uh, did you guys get to see it? Uh, let me know what it was like if you were in the totality line, because uh, that sounds awesome. I knew some people who were, and uh, yeah, the pictures are amazing. <laughs> Got all the flowers. I had two flowers of my own, but I'm forgetful and forget to water them. A, it happens. I'm really bad with house plants. The only plants that I am good at keeping are aquatic plants. I don't know what it is. I like can't keep house plants alive, but if they're like fish tank plants then they thrive <laughs> and I'm like an expert, but yeah, I don't know what it is with houseplants. So that's why I like the wild plants and the wild flowers. I'm learning to identify like all of them that I can. So I know so many flowers and so many plants and I know like all the edible ones too. So I like going foraging and stuff. Um, we're, we're kind of like in between seasons. So there's a lot of like greens to forage right now, which is really cool. So like there's a lot of mustard. Mustard is really invasive here. And so you can forge that and you can make a salad and stuff. Um, and then I'm really excited for manzanita to start getting berries on them. There, there's some flowers I've seen, but I haven't seen any like ripe berries yet. So I'm, I'm really excited for like the early summer when there actually is going to be some berries because <laughs> they're super tasty and I really want to make some uh, fruit leather with them. My sister sells a mark on her hand. Oh my God, the camel left a scar. That must have hurt really bad. I wasn't, but I saw the crescent moon over the sun. That's still pretty cool. Like getting to see it at all is, is pretty awesome. What animal are you desperate to build for in the randomly generated zoo? You want a polar bear? That's pretty cool. Um, I think I want, what do I want? Maybe like a seal. I think a seal would be kind of interesting because uh, it can make the challenge like really hard. Free mustard, exactly. You can literally get free mustard if you wanted to like use the seeds and stuff. Um, but I like the greens better, way easier. <laughs> Seals are the cutest. Yeah, I'm really hoping to get like seal or sea lion. Uh, so speaking of, why don't we get to the spreadsheet and do our start the game? <clears throat> we get a sip of water here. All right, here's all our options and all our animals. What is our animal going to be, guys? Let's spin. What is it gonna be? Ooh, a doll sheep, maybe? Ooh, a doll sheep. Hey, that's awesome. All right, let's copy that and we'll paste it. That is not the <laughs> doll sheep. That's not it. Okay, so we got the doll sheep. Make sure to remove that. Okay, uh, gonna be pretty fun. I like the sheepies, they're very cute. Now we need to do our random number generator, one through 34. We get five. Oh God, y'all. 30 minute timer. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna set up a timer on my phone for 30 minutes. This is gonna be awful. Okay, we're gonna have to like lay out some ground rules. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the, I'm gonna set the timer on my phone and then I'll, I think I have a speed run timer on stream. Let me get in here and then we'll, um, we'll do that. Okay, timer, 30 minutes and we'll do like a three, two, one, go. And then I'll like start the speed run timer so you guys can see it too. <laughs> oh, they did you dirty. Yeah, they did do me dirty. You death getting two habitats with this one real. Yeah, it's probably going to be two habitats because if this one's only a 30 minute timer, then, you know, we're going to have to do a second habitat because that's like 
Well, there you go. You guys get guaranteed two habitats. Just one might be awful. And we're going to have to make this one super small. I think that's going to be the strategy. Oops, this is not the right save. This is a screenshot save. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, load do, do randomizer. Whoopsie daisies. Combine them? No, oh my god. That would be so difficult to build like two habitats for 30 minutes or two animals in 30 minutes. I would probably die if I did that. There's a lot of things that, that would just make me perish and I think combining them is one of them. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to see a cute panda there for a second. <laughs> You haven't mi missed much, don't worry. We just uh, are popping into Planet Zoo. We're doing a 30 minute challenge because that's what we spun for and then a doll sheep. So this is gonna be rather interesting. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Okay, here we are with our llamas. Okay, let me see if I can't get, oh no. Uh, hold on. I can figure this out. It's a browser, add existing. No. Media source? Hold on. I'm figuring this out. I know. I know that I've done this before for the speed run. Okay. Okay, I had a, I had to, it is a browser source or a window capture, live split. Okay, excellent. I had to, I had to go to another screen to find it. Let me get up live split. Wait, I'm on browser stream, not game stream. Oh my God. Okay. I'm the noob. This is really bad. Where the heck is my live split? Am I stupid? I know I have it. Okay, we might have to skip on the timer thing because for some reason it's not showing up. This is so weird, guys. <laughs> Wait, the llama habitat is so cute. Thank you. Why don't you guys watch them walk around? I love their habitat. Will I kind of get this set up? Hello, Marcel. Welcome to the stream. Mr. Monkey, I'm really happy that Planet Zoo just came out on console. Hell yeah. South America pack. I mean, it'll be there eventually, right? Like, they're going to release all of them at some point. Okay, now... Did, I didn't delete it, did I? I don't think I did. Let me just go... Did you guys hear that llama? I just went... <laughs> Oh my god, live split. There we go. Live split.exe. Excellent. Okay, guys. I have found live split. I knew I had it. I just didn't have a desktop shortcut. Okay, I'm going to put that here. Get my window capture. And what we do is we go like this. Window capture, add existing, live split. Yes. Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> Let's make that a little bigger. Now you guys should be able to see. I've got a timer. So when I start that, oh, I don't want to update. When I start that, then it'll be good to go. Okay, I need to do my settings to see my controls. Okay. Shift, insert, and do shift home. Insert and home. Okay, I had to get my controls. We're good. We're done. Okay. I have a timer on my phone and then a timer that you guys can see up here. Uh, so, are we ready? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I wish I could build my, like my favorite YouTuber. You can just watch my videos and you'll learn how. All right, before we get started, let's adopt some doll sheep because that doesn't count towards the actual building. Uh, I think they're only allowed to have one male, so we'll just get this guy. He seems to be better. And we'll get that many females. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's just look at the Zoopedia. <clears throat> when it started, my phone didn't tell me. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I didn't send a notification. If you're in my Discord, you should have gotten a notification. I pinged everyone uh, to make sure it's out there. So if you guys aren't in the Discord already, make sure to do exclamation point Discord so you can get notifications every time I uh, upload. Okay, so for their habitat, we have five of them. Okay, they need 645 square meters. And then grade two above 4.13 feet. That sounds easy enough. I'm so scared. <clears throat> All right, guys. Okay, okay. I'm going to get the terrain tool open. Hold on. I need to decide where we're going to build this. I guess right here. We'll do it right here. That'll be it. I can't access this Discord. Is there a link? You do exclamation point Discord in the chat. It's a command. And then it'll give you a link to the Discord, okay? Yeah, Polar Kaiju, uh, thank you for doing that. You're showing everybody um, the Discord. Okay. And obviously, make sure that you guys read and agree to the rules uh, and make sure you're following Discord's terms of service at well, as well, um, you know, because that's really important. Okay, guys, I'm going to be like hyper focused for a second. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, I've got my timer. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to up this. I might not be able to read chat for this like uh, as much here because I'm going to be very hyper focused. All right, we need a little ditch for them so they can't escape. We're probably not going to use as many null barriers because they are going to be... We need to do something fast. In fact, we're probably going to have to use blueprints. Okay, then we'll do like a mountain that they can climb on like right here. Kind of like this. That height looks good. Go around like that. Go, go, go. You guys can also do exclamation point challenge. Exclamation point challenge will tell you the rules of the challenge and give you a spreadsheet to the animal that we're doing. Okay, we've got this. And we'll kind of curve it like that and we'll hide the barrier like this. Okay, here's what we're going to do now. Get a fence gate. Go like this. Okay, now I need to go with all the null barriers. <clears throat> we're going to go like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to see if that's enough. And we're going to get the doll sheep in here, okay? And then we're going to see... Get all of these. Oh, there's no path. There's no path. Okay. Just get on it. Oh my gosh, this is nerve-wracking. We can fix this path later. It doesn't matter. We'll just do it now. Okay, doll sheep. Select all. Send to zoo. Okay, okay. Let's start putting in... Let's start putting in, like, rocky terrain or something. Because doll sheep like rocks. They're probably going to like snow, too. So we'll make sure we give them some snow. But for now, we'll just start off with this. We really got a speed run. Okay, because it's already been two minutes. <laughs> Think about that. This is absolutely terrifying. Hopefully this habitat is big enough for them. If not, we'll expand it. Okay, now we're going to want snow. We'll have to put some coolers in here, I think. Mm. Okay. We've got snow for them. And then we should probably give them a better way to get up. In fact, I'm going to expand this like that so that way they can get up over there and then over here and do it kind of like this. They're good climbers. Yeah, that that looks great. That looks amazing. Okay. Habitat, get the blueprints off of here for not uh, for now. We've got to get the doll sheep with the cooler. Sink that down. That should make sure that the snow is good. Okay, here come our sheep. 
Let's also change all of this to null barrier. This is literally so stressful. Yeah, screw quarantine. We don't need it. If they're sick, they can die. Okay, this is like... We only got 30 minutes here. <laughs> There's no time. Okay, why is my cooler not doing anything? I want snow. What the heck? Do I need to get another cooler? Oh my gosh, I'm so stressed because I want I want snow. You. Yeah, it's just taking a while. Okay, we'll just whatever. No, wait, no, wait. We do want it. Okay. Uh okay, yes, they can have a, a mountain. So this is already like done for us. Okay, uh no align to surface. We can do their enrichment kind of like maybe like here. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Why is this enrichment like this? What the fuck? They just ruined my terrain. What the hell? <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. We'll we'll just we'll make it work. We have to because we don't have a choice. Okay, what is this? This is going terribly so far, guys. Why is this so stressful? It ruined my snow, too. Get that back here. And my rock. Okay, now we need to add... We'll just, like, do the enrichment first, and then we're gonna need to do, like, a really basic shelter for them. Um, this tree looks good, so we can do that there. And then we'll do a ball for them. Excellent. Uh, now for blueprints, let's see what we have in terms of prefab and see if maybe we can get like an arctic shelter for them. That would be kind of nice. Whoa. Okay, this is way too huge. Um, is there a smaller one? If you slow down, it will be good. I can't slow down. I have 30 minutes. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> this is a 30 minute challenge. Okay, uh, if I just search... Arctic. Uh, the workshop. I don't want their massive. Okay, now they have an even bigger shelter. We, guys, Frontier, I'm sorry. This is not gonna. Okay, you know what? We can do that. No, I don't like the igloo actually for them. Not for them. Arctic shelter. Okay, this works. This works. Oh my gosh, both the coolers are floating. Okay, we're gonna do the shelter like this. And we're gonna delete one of these coolers. And put the other one like that. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> we'll put some grass around here and they'll like it. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think this is funny. Watching on two devices, y'all are crazy. That's a lot. That's a lot of me to tolerate. Okay, we do need to do fences, but I already know how we're going to manage that. We're just going to take this and we're going to go make this the wood fence. Rebuild. Wood fence. Come on. Wood fence. And then we need to make it like a meter, right? So then you can't really see into it. Because we don't have time for custom barriers. We'll, that will be the end of us. Okay. Uh, we'll kind of cover this up with rocks, I guess. Yeah, we'll just keep this a null barrier. Keep that null, and we'll, we'll cover it with rocks. Oh my gosh. Why is this one so tall? Okay. There we go. Now we need to make these all wood as well. And you know what? This one also needs to be wood. And we'll go like that. Okay, now I want to see actually how much space do we have. Uh, 13. Okay, so we have plenty of space for them. That it- What the f What happened here? How did that happen? Ain't no way. Nuh-uh. We gotta, like, fill that in. That's no good. Okay, uh... Now, I guess let's get started on the rocks. So, they like tundra. So, we're gonna do tundra. Also, my cooler isn't working anymore, and that makes me sad. So, we're just gonna do the snow rocks, I think. <laughs> yes, I know. Time is ticking, okay? Okay, at least random rotate is on. And I need to change the colors of this to be more like the taiga. Uh, so let's maybe do... It's like 
cooler. More towards a blue. Yeah, that, that'll do. That shall do. Now, I know they're really good at climbing, but we are going to have to make this climb proof for them. Because, you know, I don't want them escaping. Okay, this one, and then we can do one like this here. Okay, maybe make it like that. Bring it up. Oh my gosh, they could totally jump over this. Let's just pretend that they can't, okay, guys? Because this is like, uh, we don't have time to make it amazing. We have time to make it functional, and that's it. We don't have the time budget for that. <clears throat> okay, let's go like this, like that. Does this have a... Oh, it has a wolf on it. I was like, is that a sheep? It's, then it's perfect. No, it's, it's, it's a wolf. Which, no, we, we don't want those in this habitat because uh, they would eat the sheep. It would be a little funny, but probably not ideal. Okay, there's the wall on that side. That looks great. Now what we need to do is make sure that the, the rocks look good. Right? We have to make this look nice. So we need to start kind of spamming the rocks on the side of the cliff. Make it look all intentional. 23 minutes? I know! For me, it's 20, I guess. More like 20. Because I'm watching the timer on my phone, too. Uh, I'm... I'm... I'm suffering right now. This is really... So like, my heart is racing. If I had a heart rate monitor right now, y'all would think I would be going into cardiac freaking arrest. Also, hello, I like cat food. We're building for a doll sheep. Remember, if you want to know which animal we are building for, you can always do exclamation point challenge because if you click the link to the document, it will tell you. So do that. Okay? Let's let's just make that something we all do from now on. Is we all use the commands that are in the are that are in the title called exclamation point challenge. Okay, turn off align to surface. I want a rock here cuz it needs to look better. And actually, I want a line to serve it back on now. So I can go like this and raise it up like that. Excelente. Cat food is back. Absolutely. You're so itchy. Is that from... Are you allergic to just amazing building like this? <laughs> it's because this building is just so good. Okay, and then we'll do... Line to surface off. And then we'll we'll kind of do some accents like that. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty doll sheep coded, I think. Also, did I do incremental rotation? Oh no, just random rotation. Yeah, I did do incremental. I do incremental rotation by accident so much, it's not even funny. Rocks do save everything. This is, uh, you know, it's what we got to work with. Okay, back to align to surface. We're going to come back here. I think we need to blend in some of the... Oh, you know what we need to do first? We need to do the snow. Because the cooler isn't giving us snow. It keeps malfunctioning, I guess. So we're just going to add in snow with rocks. The old-fashioned way. Well, actually, the cooler is the old-fashioned way. This is the new way. But you guys know what I mean. Now, I hope they can use their freaking rock climbing tower. I bet you they can't, and that's why they're not on it, which is really disappointing. But listen, I couldn't give them that massive space for that. That's just not... We can't... We can't do that. Okay, we'll do one here. Oh my gosh, they're getting reset left and right. And like this. Okay, now we're gonna go with the taiga rocks. You gotta turn the cooler down, right? It's already set to like 32 degrees. It just doesn't like me. Hmm. Okay. Now we're just gonna mix in some taiga rocks because uh, they look really good. You know, you gotta blend up your rock types. Gotta change it up. Keep it fresh. Like that. Do one like right here. Okay, okay, okay. 
I think this could potentially be a good habitat. Not quite sure. And you know what? Some of this actually needs to be smoothed out so we can get like a proper path over here going. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I think they should have plenty of room. Hopefully they- oh, Why did that reset them out of all things? What the heck? How are you so good at building layouts? It's just random. Grizzgo, welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm struggling so much with this. It's hard to like focus because, you know, we've almost done half of our time. Which, that's terrifying. I've spent 15 minutes or 13 minutes just placing rocks. That's impressively a bad waste of time. But you know what? It's what you gotta do. It's just the strat. Okay. Take maybe one of these and put it like that. All right, you know, you know, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the faux rocks. We're going to need the gravel. The gravel makes everything better. Do one of these and then you go like this. Okay, multi-select like this. Go like that. Boom. Now, okay, here's the strat, right? You do a line to surface. Leaf is the one who actually taught me this. I watched this and I did this in a leaf stream. But just wait for it. We just got to do all of our align to surface. Get all of our gravel going. This looks so good, though. No, it fucking doesn't. I'm lying. That's okay, though. It's part of the stream. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I would do the challenge, but I'm kind of dumb. Do it. It's, uh, you have to be, like, a 400 IQ genius to do this, and that's why I'm struggling so much, is because I, like, have a room temperature IQ, okay? My IQ is a solid 65 degrees. 65 points. See what I mean? Okay, so then we do that, and then we do the leaf trick, where you, you sink it, you sink it in! Oh my god, y'all, it looks so good. We are not family friendly. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, now we should just frame this with more rocks and make sure that they can't really get up here because that would be no good. No, no doll sheep escapes, please. Make sure they can't get up on this side as well by doing this. Uh, if you're five years old and you're watching this stream, your parents have failed you, okay? Like, no one under the age, re realistically, no one under the age of, like, 18 should be watching my streams, right? Because, like, I ain't, I ain't trying to be a child streamer. But if you're, like, sub-12 years old or, like, sub-13, your parents need to, like, watch what your content is. <laughs> So parents, if you're watching, if your child is watching me, don't let them. This is not a this is not a child-friendly stream. Okay? The only people who realistically should be watching my stream are the mommies themselves. Okay? I stream for MILFs. Okay, I think that's a good start for the rocks. We can always come back. Okay, uh, now we're just gonna go with the tundra. Let's see what plants we get here. Ooh, moss. <clears throat> I think moss is a good way to go. We'll just like kind of spam that everywhere. Everywhere where we want it to be. Oops, where we want it to be green at least. Excellent. Now let's do some down here with the tree. This, this will just make everything look so lush and pretty. And you know what? I think doing some spliced in between these rocks would also be very epic. <laughs> That's a good start to the rock. You spent over half the time. I know. Normally, I will spend like an hour placing rocks when I do habitats, okay? That's just how it is. I'm a rock girly. A girly with a passion for rocks. Because rocks make everything good. All right, we'll do some more like this. I like this moss a lot. This moss is actually really helping. I'm very worried about this habitat. Okay, we've got like 12 minutes left, okay? <clears throat> we 
we can do this. This is this is going to be a really easy challenge, like so easy. It's very good. Thank you. I know I'm just amazing at this. I like this tree. We need a line to surface off. Let's just do the smaller version of it. And let's just put this tree like around here because we have to kind of like frame the habitat, you know, and don't worry, we can move the path. Okay, that looks good. And then I already see that there's a Scots pine. So let me do that. Because, you know, you got to match the vibes. One there. Ooh, we're going to do this one and we're going to do something really cool. I like taking my trees and then like making them so they're all messed up looking. Like this. And then you can even take another one like that. And then it's like, it's coming out like here. Like that's pretty awesome. And then we'll do another one. Oops, that's like the same tree. We'll do like this one. Yeah, that looks great. And maybe we need some in the background. Because you always got to frame your habitats, guys. Okay? Your habitats need to look complete even from the outside of them. Okay, we'll take this. Hmm, uh, maybe not the dug fir, but the dead trees tend to look pretty good. Because what you can do is you can take them and lay them like that, and it's like, whoa, there's a dead tree! That's pretty cool! I have the IQ of a two-year-old. Me too. Me too, bro. I, uh, am quite the, the goofy, the goofy awe uh, streamer. Okay, broken tree once more. If uh, you don't know what to put in habitat, put broken trees. Like, look at that. That's pretty cool, right? And then they can, like, climb up on this and stuff. Uh, we need more. Well, let's do another tundra. I like these flowers. These flowers are really pretty, so why don't we just do those? But only in, like, some parts of the, the habitat. We'll just do them um, over here. And this will be their meadow. Like, that's really cute, is it not? I would live in here if I was one of the doll sheep. I think this would be a, a fine habitat to live in. We'll even put some in the rocks. You know, it's springtime. You gotta make it look pretty. <clears throat> I thought this habitat was gonna look like shit. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad that you, like, trust in me. And you just expect it to look like shit. I'm glad you think it looks decent, though. I think it looks like shit. <clears throat> but, you know, we've got 30 minutes. Okay, freaking nine minutes left, guys. We can do this. Almost there. I like them flowers. We're gonna put them on this side, too. Just to even everything out. <clears throat> My last two brain cells are just doing funny dances. Real. Very, very true. My last two brain cells are are fighting to make this habitat right now. And also try and pay attention to chat. That's like the real struggle is, is trying to pay attention to chat. Like that shit is, is so difficult. It's it's hard to do anyways when I'm planning, playing Planet Zoo. But this makes it even harder. Okay, let's do the taiga and let's see if there's anything else we can do. Um, I like these bushes. I think these add a good amount of greenery so why don't we get the align to surface back on and do some of these yeah that looks nice and we'll do some over here this reminds me of like a, a hunter call the wild map honestly oops let's do maybe a smaller one you guys play hunter call the wild i freaking love that game I would love to stream it someday. I think that would be super fun. I love going on the ATVs and messing around in there. One of my favorite pastimes. Okay, okay, this is nice. Oops, you know what they need? They need water. We have not given these guys water. Water pipe. Okay, dude, Airbud is gonna have a baby? That's crazy. Okay, water pipe. There you guys go. Now you have water. They don't need a feeder because, like, you shouldn't need that. Just be, uh, just be different. Just don't eat. It's that easy. Okay, what else? <clears throat> How about we do 
grass. We'll just, we'll do the green stuff. Because we want this to be nice and lush. And then we'll see if we need anything else from there. It doesn't really need to be everywhere. But I think like, you know, it's looking, it's still looking kind of empty and that's what I don't like. And I don't want it to look empty. Oh my gosh, all of the llamas are having babies, you guys. And I'm like, I really want to go see them, but I can't because we are on a timer. Okay, we've got like five minutes left. Okay, oh gosh, there's like nothing back here. Let's just fill it with grass. Don't question it. Um, we'll even do like a broken tree. And we'll make it like that. Excelente. And I think we honestly need more of those berries. That, that bush that we did. We'll just grab it from here because this rock looks kind of out of place. So why don't we... I don't even know if this is usable and I don't think it is, which makes me mad. Because I really wanted it to be usable. Okay, I don't like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, they don't need food. Oh, they're dead. I wonder why. Nah, they, they're just built different. I only get the strongest of the doll sheep, you know, and all my animals. So if they die, they deserved it. It's because they weren't an alpha like me. Oh my gosh, Sooty's had offspring. I really want to go see it. It's not there. Okay, we'll do like a bush there. And like this. You know what I ha I can do right now? Hold on. We're going to need to do some decoration. But never fear, Annika has a blueprint. I made this for a zoo a long time ago. But look, now I can use it. As a viewing structure again. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Okay, what else can we do? What else can we add? Uh, I'm just kind of wanting to go through my blueprints and just look at everything and see what we can we can add in here. A cash register? No, probably not. Probably not a cash register. Wow, this habitat actually looks good. Thank you. I'm so glad that you say that in a way that like makes it like you're really surprised. Um, that's what is the best thing to me. Okay, let's turn a line to surface off, and I think we just need to frame it. Okay. Pause the game and go see babies after. Nay, there is no pausing. We we can't be cowards. We have to be like real men and and not pause the game. Alright, we're almost at the time. Just do some framing around this. You know what? This habitat's pretty cool. Maybe I should just do all my habitats in 30 minutes from now on. I should just stop doing, like, good habitats and just do 30-minute habitats forever. Do you guys like that? Just only give myself 30 minutes to build anything? Okay, grab this random rock. That's the same rock. Grab this random rock. That's the same rock. Grab this random rock. That's a different rock this time. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, not bad. Let's even do... <laughs> Why is it sideways? What the hell? Uh... How the fuck? Okay, you. I don't know how that... What the hell? What is going on with this tree? Do you guys see that? No, I love your chill long streams. Nah, just 30 minute habitats forever. It's like... This is so strange. Okay, it didn't make a tunnel that time. I don't know what that was about the first time. Okay, we need to get some of these, and we do need to get them on a line to surface. Okay, that one was a little bit rogue, but that's okay. And then we'll just, boom, like that. Excellent. Okay, two minutes, two minutes. Am I forgetting anything? Probably, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? I think this needs to go like maybe here and like that. Okay, doll sheep, what's your traversability like? 
can't even use their freaking mountain. And they can't even go over here. Why can't they go over here? I bet it's the tree. We need to move this tree. Um, I'll just put the tree... I'll put it like this. How about that? I'll put the tree like that. So that way maybe now they can use their... Their full habitat. Okay, it's a little better. It's not the best. Maybe I'll put like a rock... Oh my gosh, I like can't even select it. I'll put the rock like... Okay, let's not do line to surface. Then we'll come like this. Okay, can you guys use it now? I really want them to be able to like... What the hell? They can't even go over here. Whatever. Whatever. Not even important. Rest in peace. For real. Okay, am I not on... I'm on heat maps, but not on random rotation. Or no, align inverted? Align to surface. I don't know why I forgot that. I'm just a little special. Okay, some grass in there. Um, and you know what I'm gonna do? Do I have time? I have 45 seconds! Okay, 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 okay. I need the buffalo grass, the dried stuff. No, just the kind of dry stuff. We're gonna add some around the base of this useless mountain! That I spent so much effort putting in. Oh my gosh. Here we go. It's almost there. Oh look, they're grazing on it. That's kind of cool actually. But it's like the grass is poking through the snow. How beautiful. Nature is healing. Ten seconds. Um, okay. I'll do like that. And like this. Come on. I need some more around around here. Oh, we're done. We're done. And, uh, shift home. Yeah. Oh my god. It does actually look kind of good. I, I, I'm glad I went really small with this one. That, that one, that one. My freaking heart rate, guys. Oh my god. That one, like, just destroyed me that one destroyed me but here it is here's our 30 minute doll sheep habitat and you know what it's not even that bad that just goes to show you can do anything if you put your mind to it why are you hungry go eat go eat some grass or whatever not my problem okay now we're gonna look at the baby baby llamas how are you so good at building habitats practice makes perfect like it's not just something that like Kalos gives you or some shit like that. It literally just like you have to practice. It's a skill. It's like art or piano or, you know, driving. You just literally have to practice and it's that easy. So practice, look at references and trust your gut. Also, these baby llamas are freaking adorable. They're so cute. I love them. Look at the baby llamas. Oh, did you hear that? He's all like squeaking and shit. This one's in the bushes over here. Is this a baby too? No, this is an adult. He's just a short king. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ooh, who's having offspring? A tapir had offspring. Oh my gosh. We have a... Uh, the unknown has grown up. Oh my gosh. We're going to have so many tapirs in here by the end of it. <laughs> Wow, well, that was a challenge. That that was, by definition, a challenge. I need to, like, take a breather after that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. You want your, your baby Cheezus? What's the baby Cheezus? Is that the... I forget who that is. Is that the llama? Or is that the... Because here's the baby llamas. They're really cute. Like, look at these little toes. Why are your toes so small, bro? And his ears are huge. He's giving me the sussy look. The wild dog? Yeah, we can go see the wild dog. Look at this one's on the... Whoa, look at that jump. You're, like, better than the doll sheep. Only the doll sheep could have done that. Okay, let's see. Where's the baby? Here's the babies. Here they are. 
I think one of them might have drowned in the Nickelodeon slime and died. So, El, El Bozo. <laughs> Hit clowned on fine cheeses. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. We can try. You there. Oh, this one's elderly. You bitch is gonna die soon. Um, okay, we've got Queso. Queso was the one we were looking at, I think. What is it? Oh, it's infertile. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I don't know if, uh, maybe Cheese has died. I think Cheese has died. Sorry. Um, hate to break it to you, but I think it died. Oops. You know, it happens. <laughs> It happens. How are orangutans doing? Have you guys had babies yet? Doesn't appear so. Oh no, they have. They've got lots of babies, actually. Oh my gosh, and I forgot we got Steven there. This one's eating some, like, oats or some shit. Me for real. Love oats. They're very real for that. And then what? We've got our porcupines over here. I really like our porcupine. <laughs> He's holding up traffic. There's like a 10 car pile up from a single porcupine called Jojo. That's really funny. You go, girl. You hold up traffic. Love that for you. All right. We're going to move on to our next habitat. And next and final habitat. This one's probably going to take a little bit longer in case we get an, <laughs> or unless we get another. 30 minute challenge, which if we do, I'm going to die. So I'm going to turn off the live split and then I'm gonna close it as well. Don't need it. Uh, do you wanna save it? No. All right, let's get back into the browser stream. And which animal are we gonna get? Feel free to drop your guesses in the comments or in the, in the comments in the chat. Uh, if you get it right, you get your YouTube name on a on a little plaque by it. So yeah, feel free to drop your your guesses. Red panda, the classic one. I'm still hoping for seal or sea lion. We got saltwater croc. And uh, let's see, let's see, what else do you think? Maybe this time it'll be we're going for the caiman. Oh, gotta go. That's okay, chonk. Have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're right, well, you know, you'll come back to another red panda. But let's see what we got here. Come on, seal. Hippo is a guess, okay. What's it gonna be? Oh, you're all wrong. You're all wrong. It's a bongo. It's a bongo. Bongo. All right, remove that. And our random number is 21. Underwater viewing with the bongo. Do bongos even swim? What the hell? Oh my gosh, Miss Red Panda. Yeah, I know. By five. Yeah. Well, see you later. Maybe next time, right? <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do the bongo with the underwater viewing, but you know what? We'll figure it out. We're going to make it work. Why don't we go over here? And we'll do this, and we'll just start out with some glass, right? Because that's how you make it water, is you do the glass. So let me just level out this. I need to turn, ooh my gosh, I need to turn free build off also so I don't mess everything up. Okay, we don't need size 40, like size 6 will do. All right, underwater viewing. I'm trying to think of how to do it. Put tigers in the habitat. No, you, you guys. Okay, I don't know if you guys just aren't understanding like the challenge of this thing. It's, it's not. I can't just build whatever I want. I have to do what the rules say. I can't just be like, well, no, I'm gonna put tigers instead. That's not how this game works. If you're confused on the rules, do exclamation point challenge. This game wouldn't be fun if I was just building whatever the hell I wanted. Like, I wouldn't really want to stream that because then I would just be like, oh, I'm just, I'm just building and blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's start out with some glass. This will be where our water is. 
And then we're going to do it kind of going like this as well. And then what I'm going to do is make the terrain go up. Kind of like that. Perfect height. And bring it around like this. Yeah, that looks perfect. And now the only way to get up to the bongo normal viewing is you got to go up this like ramp thing. Um, so we'll do that. So we'll just bring it up like this. And then smooth everything out. Okay, excellente. Now we need to do... How many is it obstructed? I need free build on for this. Hold on. I always gotta like go back and forth between free build yes and no. Also, we need to do blueprints off. And we'll take that. We'll take this okay it's a bad combo but that's the point exactly yeah it's supposed to be a bad combo it's it's supposed to be this is supposed to be like a funny stream um hopefully that uh comes across probably not okay what the hell um that's not enough i guess we need to make the path higher i really wish that the you could do like lesser increments of the the height that you can place water at because it's kind of annoying right now that you can only do it like every four meters or like two meters or something or every meter every meter i wish you could do like half a meter okay do we need to make this stupid underwater viewings are so annoying honestly to make they just make me rage okay what if i go like this is that enough for you is that enough <clears throat> There we go. Oh, that's even too much. <laughs> no. Crap. And that's not enough. Well, you know what? That's going to be enough. I don't want to do the higher one. The higher one looks bad. So we're just going to raise this down or lower that down like that. Oh my gosh. And then uh, let's do the rest of the barriers and then get some bongos in here. Uh, I guess I'll just do null for now. Bring it up kind of like this. I don't think bongos need too big of a habitat. I mean, we'll see. Like that, and excellent. Okay, now I'm actually going to extend the terrain back a little bit in case we do expand the habitat, and also because we're going to need a way for the entrance to work. And then here's where the path is going to be. Like that. Okay, now let me just fix this up. Kind of go like this. And like that. Okay, that's a little better. It's not as janky. Uh, for the path, I'll just do this. And raise it up. Oh my gosh, the pathing system sometimes makes me rage. There we go. When it like connects like that. Okay. Wonderful. This one, you're definitely going to be able to pet the bongo. Definitely going to be able to pet it. Oh my gosh. Hey, guys, does this path look good? It looks great, right? Let me see. There we go. We got some stairs, and then I want to flatten it, and then maybe do some more stairs, like the, or a ramp, I guess. I would have preferred stairs, as I think it looks better. But um, let let me actually do this better. Okay, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go like this, and then go like that. And you know what? Hold on. This is gonna make it easier. We're just gonna flatten. Oh my gosh, this this terrain tool is is racking out. Okay, that's good. There we go. That's all I wanted. Now we need a gate, which will go here. Get the this. 
And like that. Okay. That looks great, guys. How are we doing? There was an animal wheel. Maybe you fell asleep. <laughs> the Google Doc with the challenge has a link to it, to the spreadsheet. Like, the challenge that you click on is, you know, it's it's like the rules. And then under that is, like, where everything is. Sometimes, listen, sometimes you just got to use your brain to think about it, use your eyes to look at it, and use your ears to listen about it, okay? There's only so much I can do for you. All right, sand. We need to make this water look nice. <clears throat> there we go. And I think I'm just going to do sand the whole way, and then I'll come back with the dirt and grass and stuff. We do need to get the bongos in here. So why don't we adopt a pair of bongos? Bongo. And you'll do, and which male is better? This guy. So we got these two puppies right here. And hopefully this will be enough space for them. Girly, you're so pretty. Thank you, Mooney. I appreciate that. Very nice of you to say. Okay, now we need to do a barrier for them. And I'm thinking we do... I've downloaded some blueprints. I love blueprints, um, guys. So let me just do this one. Someone made another... like You know how like Caesar creates the rock walls? Well, someone made another one. And it looks so good. So let me give you guys the credits for them. They are called ST8RRE. That is their name. Uh, so make sure to go give this blueprint a download because look at how beautiful that looks. All these different rock formations. So that's what we're going to be using because I specifically really like these ones. And I think these ones would be really great uh, for the back wall of this habitat. I got these specifically for this challenge. Well, and I need to like rotate some of this around so it looks like, you know, differentiated. We'll come grab another piece. Like, is that the same? No, that's with real rocks over here. And then we do need to have the door kind of poking through. So maybe we'll do it like a little secret door like that. Yeah, that's great. I love that. Okay. Did you dye your hair? No, um, I did not. <laughs> I remember you were blonde before. Is my brain numb? No, my hair just like, maybe it's the lighting is slightly different, but I'm technically a little like dirty blonde, but I'm, my hair just kind of turns more brown as I age. Um, and then in the lighting, it looks red. <laughs> it looks really red right now, but I'm not a redhead. I am blonde. Um, it's just my hair looks kind of weird. <laughs> that's how it is i don't know how else to explain it okay i feel like these bongos do not have enough space uh, how much do you guys need um zoopedia for two bongos they need okay they need 230 meters that's not what about for four 290 how much do we have in here Oh, we have 520. We actually have enough space for them. That's great. Guys, this is enough space for a bongo. That's wild. That's like nothing. That's really sad, actually, that that's enough space. Oh, yeah, I thought it looked really red today. Yeah, for some reason, it just looked red on this in this lighting. I don't even know why. Like, the only part of my hair that's actually red is like the ends. Because, well, when I had really long hair, the ends were red. But that's just because it was like dead hair. Um. Yeah, my hair's just really strange. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. It's my hair is really weird and it doesn't play by the rules when it comes to lighting. I think the Irish jeans are trying to come back to like, you know, do their thing or whatever, but it's not quite working. So that's that's the the best answer I could give you is the Irish jeans are trying to fight uh to be a part of me. They can only do it when I'm on stream. Okay, I want to make this look really pretty. So I think we're going to take these rock walls and surround the whole pathway with them. That's pretty cool. And we can like make this path, like when you're going up the stairs, I think it would be really awesome to make it look like a jungle. So it's really immersive. And then, you know, 
<laughs> so that way it's like you have more of a reason to come up and see the bongos uh, that are not in underwater viewing. Because that, the underwater viewing is not ideal. But it's what we have. Okay, I like this one. And then the other side, I might just make like super duper tall. Like this. My hair is two feet long. Damn, your roots are dark brown and it fades in a lighter shade. Yeah, I realize like the really, really dead old hair usually is like so much lighter. Because I used to have hair down to like my waist, but I cut it off like a you not a year ago, not even close. Like I cut off like July, so kind of close to a year ago, but that's that's my story. I just entered the stream. Banana GT, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Yo, I'm kind of late, but what's up? Hope you're having fun. We're having fun. We just did a 30 minute challenge. Uh, you can do exclamation point challenge as always uh, to see kind of like what we're doing today. Okay, almost done with the rocks over here. And I'm actually going to take the rocks and I'm going to go like this because that's going to hide the staff thing. And then what I'm going to do is a little door like this. Uh, oh, we got to align that to the surface. Excellent. And then look at that, a little door. And now that's like, we can pretend that's how the staff get to the habitat. I think that looks kind of cute. And I think there's some gaps here that I need to cover up. Can we go to the new No Sweetie of Zoo at Home? The zoo, exactly. This is the zoo at home. <laughs> it's uh, Drina, by the way. This is my actual name. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Welcome, Drina. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce that name. It is in a language that I do not speak. <laughs> I only I only speak English, and uh, I'm not even that good at that one. Okay. Now, we have the basis for that done. Go like this, and I do want to make this kind of like rock as well. We'll make rock around the edge of the path here, and then I'm going to take the grass... Get this brush pretty small. And I think the bongos do like grass, so we'll make sure to give them some grass. But sand all around the edge of their pool, and maybe some dirt too. And since they're tropical, I think what we're going to do is make this like a tropical colored water. So if we did it like... That's really pretty. I really like that. I don't think it needs to be super see-through. Oh, and then the mist, because they're tropical, and bubbles, because we love bubbles. And the mist color will do like this. Oh, amazing. I love it. Oh, the mist color is actually too dark. That's great. You just move, Banana GT. Oh my gosh, that's such a big process. I hope the move went well for you. I need another, just a tad bit more rocks. Just like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll separate the two habitats by kind of going like that. Okay, that looks good. And then I need to get something that goes across the top here. And I'm thinking, once again, we just do rocks for that. Um, ooh, I don't know if I like... Oh, that's actually perfect. The faux rock is perfect. Okay, good. Random rotation is off. And then we need to get it to the right color. Which... Do that by, I think it's more of like a reddish, orangish brown. Maybe kind of like that. Looks, looks so cool. Thank you. We went cross country. That is an insane move, actually. Well, I hope you like your new place. Because, yeah, moving across the country sounds like a lot of work. When I moved across, you know, the county, then that was already difficult enough for me. That was enough to make me go insane, was just moving across the county. I can imagine you all had to get like a freaking U-Haul. Jack the Headless Horseman, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Okay, we got a little top border there and now let's do one. I think I want to do a different thing. Maybe we'll do... How's that? This is like a huge pillar. Hold on. Um, no, I don't like that. That looks bad. I think we're just gonna do one of these. Oops. We're just gonna do one of these. Rotate it round, and oh my gosh, look at all that mist. And go like this. This is the very first bongo habitat with an underwater viewing. I think. 
<clears throat> is it the habitat for gargoyles? No, this is a bongo habitat. The um the prompt made us do underwater viewing, so that's what we're doing. You can always do exclamation point challenge. A dude I had to move three times during college. That shit, shit sucks. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Does not sound like a good time. <clears throat> I'm not excited for when I have to move again. Like I'm excited to like potentially get like a new house, but not for the actual process of of moving. Also, I am just going to fill in this stuff here because well, I think it I think it looks better like if it's just two panels. And then I can kind of go like this. There we go. Yeah, that looks better. Now you just get two nice panels of uh, glass, which they're a little uneven, but don't question it. Okay, bongos, you guys need a shelter now. I think I'm going to do a thatch roof for them. So we're just going to start with that and build like a little hut for them. Let me go with thatch. Why is there so much water if it's a bongo habitat? So the challenge is uh, underwater viewing. So if you do exclamation point challenge, you can see like what we're working with today. So since it has to be a underwater viewing, it's it's a water-based habitat. Yeah, don't they live in African jungle? They do, but it's not, it's not, this is not, okay. When have I ever built a realistic habitat? Let's be real here. I only, and I mean only, build fantasy habitat. That's just what we do here on the channel. We don't build realism because that's a boring. <laughs> uh, okay, can we change the grid size to maybe like one meter? Oh, I hate how the round... Mm, the round does not look... Because they have like the square, but I like the... I like how the round looks. Oh my gosh. That. Come back. To the two meter this like that okay i just realized this is like really low to the ground hold on hold up a minute that's more like it <laughs> oopsies okay uh and then i guess we'll just do flat roof for them shitload of fallen trees that's what we'll do it's literally that it's just a shitload of fallen trees you know me I know that buffaloes look aquatic habitats, but bongos are not buffaloes. Okay. Jack the Headless Horseman. Exclamation point challenge. The challenge is underwater viewing. The challenge is not build a nice realistic habitat. <laughs> it's in the name. I'm begging you guys, please read the challenge. I'm not going to explain this again. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I really like the East Asia beams. When I do my console build, I use a shit ton of East Asia beams because they're genuinely goaded. Bro does not listen. I swear to God, half of the people that tune into this stream do not listen to a word I say. I think they see the habitat and they automatically assume I'm doing something and it's like, y'all have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. So if I don't know what I'm doing, you guys definitely don't know. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to favorite that. Okay, there's their shelter and yes it looks good yes it looks good and you can't tell me otherwise okay let's go see what the africa theme has to offer i want to see if i can just add anything else that like maybe looks good listen or come to the stream on time you don't even need to come to the stream on time to like know what's up because the name of the stream is planet zoo but everything's like randomly rotated so you know, that should, or everything's randomly generated, or like we're building a randomly generated zoo. That's clue number one. Clue number two is the exclamation point challenge. <laughs> clue number three is me spinning the giant fucking wheel at the beginning of the challenge. Um, so there you, there you guys have it. <laughs> That's why I like Twitch. Your mods can pin a comment. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch is, uh, um, better like in many ways, but there's no Planet Zoo audience over on Twitch. You guys know what the number one Planet Zoo stream is on Twitch? And it's not even Planet Zoo. It is a Latin American or like Spanish American game show that's like a version of Big Brother, but just done entirely in Spanish. Um, 
And that is like, then they stream it under the category of Planet Zoo. It's so weird. And I don't know why it's in the Planet Zoo category. Isn't that so, isn't that really strange? So yeah, that's why. Um, so all my other games I stream on Twitch. So if you do exclamation point socials in the chat, you can see my, uh, you can see my Twitch channel. And you can go follow over there, and I stream Dinkum, and I'm going to be streaming some other stuff, too. Okay, now let's do some rocks. My favorite. Some real rocks this time. This one, we actually do want random rotation. I want to eat rocks. Valid. Very valid. Uh... That's why you got to eat nerds, because they'll stave off your hunger for aquarium gravel. <laughs> yeah, it, it, when you have to place rocks down instead of eat them, it's so real. Okay, let's do some of the tropical mossy ones, and then we're going to do some of the regular ones as well. And you know what? I'm going to do some underwater. We're going to make this a really cool underwater viewing. So, dude, there's a candy in Serbia that looks like gravel. We have, like, rock candy that I've eaten. Um, they're, like, a chocolate. I don't know if that's, like, the same as what you guys have. But I love chocolate rock candy. It's so good. Like, for those of you who have had it, you know what's up. That shit is delicious. All right, the bongos are definitely going to stub their toes on some of these rocks, but I don't care. Not my problem. Sounds like a problem for the bongos. I think that's... Ooh, this is an interesting looking habitat. I don't know about this one today. But listen, I didn't want to make it a huge habitat because like... I don't know. I just didn't want to have to accidentally spend like four hours on it because every time I make a habitat that's like bigger than this, I need to spend hours. And maybe I'm just like used to the other habitat that we spent hours on. It's kind of like a hardened sugar, but with some mint flavor. That sounds really delicious, like a peppermint kind of. I would probably fuck something like that up if I had it in front of me right now. Death by Aritsu. Uh, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. I'm building the only normal habitat in the zoo for my peacocks. That is very interesting. By normal, do you just mean like, go like, what's so weird about the other ones? Are you just building like giant, I don't know, like my boar habitat or my peccary habitat that I made? <laughs> a lot is going on, bro. By the way, hi, Ritzy. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on. Oh, you're doing the challenge. Very cool. Very cool. Have fun with the challenge. Yeah, that's why, again, if you guys do exclamation point challenge, you can get all the rules and the list of animals so you can input it into your thingy thing. But yeah, there's a, a lot of chaos right now. This is a very chaotic day for me and a very chaotic time uh, because, you know, there's just, there's stuff going on. Okay, we need some plants now. Let's see, African rainforest plants. Sausage tree. Well, I don't know what that is, but I want it. We can do them on the outskirts because we need the outside of this habitat to look really pretty. So let's do one. I'm thinking we go like this and we'll like lean it over the habitat. That looks super cool. I love it. Gotta say small YouTuber community is the best. It is the best. I love small YouTuber communities. Um, just YouTubers in general. Like the whole Planet Zoo YouTuber community is is very nice and I enjoy everyone in it. Um, oh yeah, sausage tree. Wow, they really do look like sausages. Like especially the stretch textures. That's my favorite part. Ooh, I want the roots. That's so cool. Okay, we have to turn random rotate off and then do align to surface. What group am I editing? I don't know what group I'm editing, but apparently I was editing a group. Oopsies. Damn it, I want to unlock sausage tree too. Do it. Sausage trees are so good. Get whatever DLC they're in. <laughs> I do hope you grow. Don't get me wrong. No, I totally get that because you start the small community is where you start out at. Um, And I anticipate to grow a lot this year. I don't know how much, but I think I'm gonna be doing pretty well at least. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. Hungry for rocks? Absolutely. Like, hungry for rocks? Everyone's gonna be hungry at rocks for some point. It's just a natural progression of things. As you place rocks down in Planet Zoo and they just make you really hungry because it's like, wow, I could eat those right now. 
They look delicious. Okay, I want to do the roots that are like these. Just on the edges. Because then these come with what, like South America or something? Because South America had a lot of good ones. It's called sausage tree because the fruits on it look like wieners. That is a fun fact if I ever heard one. That is, I, I guess that makes sense. I don't know why I wouldn't have guessed that. It's probably just because I'm a little bit stupid. <laughs> okay, that looks good there. And I like this fallen tree. So I think we'll add it like... Like this, right? So we'll do it like that and it's coming in the water. Yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. Now we need to turn off the line of service and then turn back on random rotation. Um, we could do... I like these elephant ear plants. I do need a tree tree, so we could do the K-pop tree. Because that's a big-ass tree. Uh, smallest one, probably. We'll do... This is the one I used. You guys will see it in the video. Does the command have the current thing we're doing? Yes. If you do the exclamation point challenge and then you go to the um, the document, it'll see it. But the current rule set is underwater viewing. That's that's what we're doing. You just have to click the link at the bottom of the spreadsheet. I just wanted to keep it in one place. All right, let's add some of these uh, custard apples because you got to deter the bongos from like walking up to the guests. I mean, they're pretty shy anyways but like not really in this game. They're kind of bold. Like, look, they're going right up there. They do not give a shit. Okay. More, just gonna be a lot of placing these, these bushes. This is such a tiny habitat. Oh my gosh. And we've got 30 minutes left of our stream today. I know, very short stream, only two hours. It's fun, but unfortunately, you know, I'd be busy today. Just how it is. But tomorrow I'll be streaming on Twitch. Dinkum! Very exciting. I just have to do a bunch of short streams. Like, all my streams are gonna be like two hours now. Um, because... Oh, that's the way the world is. Very, very busy these days. Okay, now I want to do these, these elephant ear plants. These are so pretty. I want to do them like... Oops! No, I don't want to add them to the group. Like, sticking out of the water, I think, would look so cool. <clears throat> Underwater being for bongos is funny. Yeah, no, they're crazy. They don't even want to go in the water, which is ass. Now it really feels like a jungle. Exactly, because we're, we're starting to get that buildup of the lush foliage. So then it'll actually feel like a jungle. But these, these elephant ears really, really do add to the lushness of it. And then I think I'm going to delete the Africa and just do the tropical. Because I want more. I want to use... I've already used mods. So I'm, like, tempted to use more. But it's like, I probably shouldn't. But, like, they're so cool. Oh, fallen trees! That's what we need, is we need broken trees. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, the water banana plant. I mean, we are in water, so... Why not just have a couple? Just a couple. For good measure, you know. Makes everything better. Oh, you know what we should have? I'm like going crazy with these. Okay, I need the align to surface. Oops, that's align to water. Align to surface. And then we'll have leaves on the bottom because it'll make it look super tropical. Jungle is one of the best vibes. Agreed. I love plucking duck. Oh, they're your peacocks. Those are those are funny names. Duck is a great name for a peacock. In our Dinkum game. Uh, which is like a little cozy game like Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley type thing. In um, on over on Twitch, we have a chicken named Goose, and that reminded me of that. <laughs> is this bongo stew? It's about to be. We're seasoning it right now. Do you play Banner Banner Lord? I do not. I've heard of Manor Lord. <laughs> or are you talking about oh Mountain Blade Banner Lord? No, I've played the original Mountain Blade before. Or like Mountain Blade Warband, that game. But I don't have a Mountain Blade Banner Lord yet. Because I really want it. But I just haven't gotten around to it. 
And I don't think many people would be interested in that on this channel. And right now I'm basically getting games that people are interested in on the channel because I don't have a lot of time to pay money for games that I'm not going to be making money on. <laughs> not all leaves float. Exactly, yeah, the leaves uh, sink. Like in my fish tank, I have bot botanicals. Um, you can get magnolia leaves and they do dark water effects and they sink. You know, I'm only a f fish keeping legend. I'm a master fish keeper. Look at any pond there. On pond here, there's leaves on the water. Exactly. Like if I go in the stream, there's always leaves at the bottom of it. Bro, it does not go outside. <laughs> Yo, when's when's the last time you went to a babbling brook? Bro is the champion of like misinformation, and I love that for you. Like, have you ever been to a pond or like an aquarium? Have you ever seen a pool? Okay. My landlord has a pool and the the water or the, the bottom of the pool is fucking covered in leaves because the leaves will float for a few days and then they'll sink. Yeah, they absolutely sink, especially the biggest ones like big maple leaves. Exactly. And then like magnolia leaves, which we have those all over here, which again, I use in like fish tanks and stuff. I use them because they sink. Go watch serpa design he has sinking leaves leaves decompose and sink they they do what are bongos these guys there you go they're a very strange animal <clears throat> bongos are are i don't know what make them what makes them named bongo like i don't know who came up with that whoever did it i love them because that's hilarious but Maybe they were named after the drum. I don't know, because they look like it or something. I'm forgetting about my fat panda. I thought you said rat panda, and I'm like, I didn't know pandas had fraternities. Bongos are an antelope. Indeed. Indeed they are. Oh, you know what? We done forgot to do a tropical area here. I like these figs. Um, They're really pretty, so we're going to do one of those. And let's actually do, if we do a line to surface, I like these. Oh, did you guys hear that noise? Who cares? It's not realistic anyways. Literally, this isn't even meant to be realistic. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I love Serpa design. Okay, we have fellow Serpa fans in the chat. I get a lot of inspiration from him uh, for my fish tanks and stuff. So, like, he's how I figured out about magnolia leaves um, being able to be, like, used in both terrariums and aquariums. Um, they're very cool. I've thought about like selling magnolia leaves <laughs> before because there's so many. Like where I used to live, when I lived with uh, my dad, there was like huge magnolia trees and they would drop leaves everywhere and they just get picked up and thrown away. And so it's like, dude, I could make a killing off of selling these to people who want botanicals for their terrariums and stuff. <laughs> I want a blackwater uh, tetra tank. Foul as hell. What kind of tetra? My favorite tetra is ember tetra. Um, I just think they're pretty, and I like how small they are, and I also like um, penguin tetras. Oh, I really want to build a guppy sanctuary fish tank. Guppies are so cute. I love guppies. Um, I still, I have one Endler's live bearer left over, and I only have one because she's really old, and she's just the one that has lived this long. Um, but I did used to have, like, a hundred of them. I used to breed my own strain of Endler's live bearers. Uh, for a few years and then I just like I moved and I just let the remaining ones live out their lives uh, Trying you know, it was just females. I had like one male and then like five females when I moved and uh, The male died because he was old and then the female stopped giving birth and stuff, but it was really fun My brother in Christ we did it like seven times <laughs> You would make so much money selling the magnolia leaves. I think so because they're like um and in demand, you know, sort of item. Like, I want to sell just naturals in general because I could sell like magnolia leaves from my other property uh, that I used to live on. And then, and like, you know, my dad still lives there, so I can go back and collect it. And then from the property I live on now, I could sell a little bit of the moss. I don't want to sell a lot of it because I don't want to deplete the natural supply, but I could sell a decent amount of moss as well. The last time I had guppies, they overbred. They tend to do that. I uh, recommend to people if you're going to keep guppies and you don't want to breed them, just keep one sex. Like keep males or females 
don't keep both because you're going to have babies every 28 days. Like, it's crazy. Rummy nose tetras. I love that for you. Rummy nose tetras are adorable. They're bright ass red nose. So good. Your cutie patootie pluck and duck are mating. Congrats on your peacock babies. They're going to be adorable and very loud and annoying at the same time. Because that's just how peacocks are. Okay, let's see. I want to do more of those custard apple. Because those are super tropical. And you get the random rotation back on. Just like that. Excelente. <clears throat> okay. And oh, they're leucistic too. Damn. So it's like the villain from that, uh, what, Kung Fu Panda 2 or 3? 2. I think it was 2 that they're the villain from is the white peacock. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Who's the Kung Fu Panda fan? I need to see the fourth one. I want to go see it with my boyfriend. But, um, so no spoilers. No spoilers on the new Kung Fu Panda movie, okay? If you spoil it, you're getting, like, insta ban. Like, I'm not even joking. That is a lifetime ban if you spoil Kung Fu Panda for me. I think it's two. Okay. I was going to say, I feel like it was two because three had the the buffalo. I remember. Poe died. Poe literally died. <laughs> banned. Drina's banned from the chat. Forever for spoiling Kung Fu Panda 4. <laughs> Poe just perishes. I know you're kidding. No, I know Poe doesn't die. They wouldn't do that. If Poe actually died, there would probably be outrage in the fandom. <laughs> they all die in the end. Every single character is killed off. It's like... That one Avengers movie that I don't see because I don't watch Avengers because I'm not a Marvel cuck. That's right. This is a Marvel slander stream, okay? I'm going to be a Marvel hater for the rest of my life. <laughs> I like being evil. I already watched uh, Kung Fu Panda 4. Good. Please don't spoil it. I want to watch 4. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like 4. I gotta watch it. Was not expecting them to make a fourth one at all. So we'll see if it's good. I've heard mixed reviews on it. I had a friend said it was not good. And I'm like, don't ruin this for me. I want this to be good. So, you know, we'll see. You know what we need? We need some grass. Let's get some grass. Remove that tropical tag. <clears throat> How dare you literally calls Stark my husband. Oh, that's funny. I know. I'm just a, I'm a Marvel hater. That's just how it is. I will always be. I used to like Marvel. I actually did like the Iron Man movies. I think I saw like Iron Man 2 in theaters when it came out when I was like a little kid. Well, not a little kid, but a child. Um, and I remember liking the, yeah, the Iron Man movies and I liked the Deadpool movies, but I didn't like the other ones because I don't like superheroes. <laughs> they just don't interest me. I like historical dramas. So like I, I'm going to watch Captain America, but only because it partially takes place and I think that the girl that he's in love with is really cute. So I'll watch it for that. Um, but that's about it. Oh, and you know what? I did like Guardians of the Galaxy as well. That one was that one was fun. Is it bad I haven't watched Barbie yet? I haven't either. I really want to watch it again. It's another movie I'm going to watch with my boyfriend. It's just we've got to like rent it. And it costs money to rent. You, so, you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not a freak for Marvel. But like, I do like Stark. And he's such a babe. Very true. Robert Downey Jr. is also uh, a slay actor. If you guys have seen the Robert Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movies, oh my god, those are so slay. Sometimes I sleep through movies. Oh my gosh, I, I can't sleep through movies. They keep me very awake. How do you pronounce Onyx? Like this, you pronounce it Onyx. Some people say Annex though, and that is also acceptable. Uh, you can also call me Annika. Guardians of Deadpool are valid. They are. They're actually pretty good. Um, Again, and I'm not like a superhero movie, but I just like them because they're kind of funny, and I like the fucking raccoon. Do the RDG blackface movies. <laughs> you mean Tropic Thunder? I watched that one when I was a child, okay? It was like on cable TV back when cable TV was a thing that we had. And I remember watching it and it was very inappropriate. Because I was flipping through the channels and I recognized the guy from Iron Man, right? Uh, you know? So. And it had like other famous actors in it too. And I was just like, okay, this is just the channel I'm familiar with it that plays movies. So we're going to watch it. <clears throat> Can I call you Optimus Prime if you fucking desire? Can I call you Deadpool if you desire? Again, I don't really give a shit. As long as you're not calling me a slur, that is all I, you know, that's, that's all I care about. <clears throat> 
onyx. It is pronounced like onyx. It really is. That's the best way to put it, is like the gem. Okay, you know what this habitat needs? Some broken trees, guys. I haven't seen enough broken trees in this habitat, and I'm sorely disappointed in myself. Especially at the bottom of the pool. Is ginger a slur? It depends on how you say it. If you say, and she's a ginger, then that's definitely a slur, but I'll take it. Gingers don't have souls, and I'm not even ginger. My hair just looks red. <laughs> the broken trees, that's what we're doing. It's time. I can't stay awake through most movies. That's crazy. I cannot imagine being like that. Sorry, not sorry, but like, if I'm watching a movie, I must pay attention. It's just my brain needs to. I watch movies like help me fall asleep, but it's like a, in a sense, like a bedtime story might, where it's like you watch it to help feel relaxed and cozy. <clears throat> what should I name the awesome babies? Well, name one Onyx, because it's got to be after me, and then name one Fart. Um, those are my name suggestions. You're welcome. There goes that ginger boy. <laughs> I don't- it's just bad. Yeah, you just fucking, like, picking on some ginger kid in the middle of the street? Valid, honestly. Valid as hell. You go. Go off. Alright, more broken trees. I have not detected enough broken trees. We need one here. We've got some underwater, but we need them above ground, too. That looks excellent. And then, of course, we need to deter the bongos from walking with the guests. So we'll do one like this. Rotate it kind of like that. Excellent. Love it. I love the stumps, too. It's so deforested core. I pick on every child I see. So valid. Uh, anyone watch the new Heartbreak High season? I have not heard of that. I don't really like anything based on high school because I don't want to have to relive high school. Um, anyone else feel that? Did you watch Disney The Lion Guard? I did not. I don't have Disney Plus, um, unfortunately. I, I do not have... I use my parents' Netflix, and my boyfriend and I use his parents' Amazon Prime. And, and HBO Max, which is through Amazon Prime. We just were leeches. We don't really contribute anything to the streaming game. I actually refuse to play for the... Uh, uh, pay for any streaming service. Like, I'm not even joking. If I ever lose access, like if my dad ever cancels Netflix or something, I'm just not going to watch. I'm just not going to watch it anymore. Like if the people we're borrowing it from decide that, OK, we're just like not going to have it or you can't use our subscription anymore. I'm not buying Netflix. I'm just not going to watch movies anymore. I'm going to watch movies in like maybe theaters and the ones that are free on YouTube. And that's it. I'm not going to because I refuse to pay for a streaming service. It's just not happening. <laughs> I'm deeply fascinated by anything set in high school since I never went. Oh, were you like homeschooled or something? I can imagine that being a thing. My friend watched an online online movie site. I don't want to get a virus. Um, like they're brave for that. They're brave for doing the like what what is it like the three two one movies or some shit. I uh, yeah, I would be way too scared to get a virus. <laughs> My fave show is leaving off Netflix. Oh, that sucks. I hate it when that happens. I remember when Downton Abbey left Netflix, like the series. I had to grind to watch all that shit before it left. Downton Abbey is like my favorite show ever. I, I love historical drama. Um, so yeah, you know, the safe ones. I don't know. You can still get like your IP stolen. I have a nice friend with Hulu. Her family was sharing with the neighbor and they talked, uh, they stopped having Hulu so she didn't have any more. It was devastating. I can imagine Hulu had some great stuff back in the day. Um, they had like a, I think it's on Peacock now or something, but they had like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, um, which I liked. And then they have some like other movies too. You're homeschooled. Okay, that makes sense. Total Drama. Oh my gosh. Total Drama was such a good show. I loved that when I was a little kid. Um, I liked Gwen because goth girls. Goth girls are the best. I've, I've always been a goth girl stan, and I remember I hated Heather so much. I was like, I fucking hate you, Heather. Because um, there was a girl in my class when I was in middle school who acted just like her. And so, of course, we were not standing that behavior. It was not happening. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is on Netflix now. Oh, shit, I'm going to have to pick that up again. Because I've watched the first, like... I See, I watched Brooklyn Nine-Nine back when it was on cable. Because I used to watch it with my dad um back back when we had cable and stuff and so i should get back into it and watch the rest of it because i've watched several seasons of it it is so good i love um gosh andy samberg 
he is so funny. And like Rosa as well, the chick uh, with the curly hair on the show, she's fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. B99 is Peacock. That's what I thought. I thought Brooklyn Nine-Nine is Peacock. I know it's different for different countries, though. Like, I know when I went to Canada, they had, like, Brooklyn Nine-Nine on Netflix. Um, and I'm like, damn, Canadian Netflix slaps. I thought that was pretty cool. Mm-mm. Okay, more aloe. I'm just like, I want this habitat. It's It just feels like something's missing, so I'm doing aloe. Even though aloe are more arid, I think just the flowers really help with the vibes, honestly. My phone's about to die. I got to go. Hope you have fun for the rest of the stream. Take care. Well, thanks for joining. Drina, go charge that phone. And thanks for uh, stopping in. Hope you have a good day as well. I don't have to tell you, man. I have it on Netflix this very moment. I think, like, again, different countries. Like, Netflix has different things in different countries. It's crazy. Like, um, before Netflix caught it, I used to use a VPN uh, to go watch things from different countries on Netflix. That was the move, because, like, y'all remember those ExpressVPN ads? Well, I got the ExpressVPN ad, and then I watched stuff on Netflix. And uh, it worked for a while, and then Netflix caught up to it. And they started banning the IPs that ExpressVPN used or whatever. So, really sad. Really, really sad. Do pitcher plants grow in Africa? Could not sell you. <laughs> Could not tell you. Your peacocks are doing well. I'm so happy for you completely forgot about the challenge yet yeah, you do you right you know it's all about having fun as long as you're having fun <clears throat> uh so you should have it so yeah if i'm in america right then i should technically have brooklyn 99 on netflix and if that's the case i'm getting back into it because uh, i loved that show so much it was so funny because you know i'm a big parks and rec girly like that's probably one of my favorite sitcoms um so those of you who are familiar with Brooklyn Nine-Nine are probably familiar with Parks and Rec as well. Just because it's so good. Let's see. Woo. I think I'm going to use this. And you know what I need to do? I need to delete this. That's going to free up a lot of space for us. I'm going to do another fig. And we're just going to do it like as background foliage. Just to fill in kind of some of the, the gaps. Yeah, that looks fine. I like these sausage treat. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, it's an entire group. Okay, ignore that. We're just going to Google sausage and do those over here. Excellent. That looks a lot better. <clears throat> Did you know that there was once a woman who slept with a dolphin? I do know that, actually. Um, I watched a like YouTube documentary about that. That is disturbing. Uh... A lot. Do you prefer to be called Onyx or Onika? I don't want to be weird. No, you can call me either. Uh, I prefer to call YouTubers by their name or something because I talk about them to my parents. Love that. Honestly, that's iconic. You can literally call me either, whichever is easier for you. Your group is a mess. I know. I uh, My groups are always a mess. Like when I build buildings, if you guys ever peek inside the Oceania Zoo and you look at like the group layout in there, like don't. It's going to be impossible. Okay. There's like four different groups, you know, per building. And, like, some of the stuff isn't even in a group. Some of it's in the wrong group. It's just... Oh! Bell sheep offspring. Hold up. I want to see the offspring. Peacocks are drag queens. They are. The males are so pretty. A lot of birds are like that. A lot of birds are just pretty. You know, the males are just the really bright ones, which I'm obsessed with native birds. I go birding so much. Um, every time I go for a walk now, we, like, walk from our house into the town and uh, I bring my binoculars with me because we go by these parks and there's a lot of like big stretches of farmland along the way. I try and spot birds with my binoculars. <laughs> I never make groups. It's too much work. Feel that. Sometimes I just accidentally add something to the group. Like, I guess that was an accident. That was not intentional. And it just happens like that. So that's how it is. Have your baby. Wait. Oh, expecting offspring. You haven't had offspring. That's annoying. Okay, well, you've had offspring. What do they look like? Hold on. Oh, that's probably the new llama baby. They're all the same color. All the llama babies are the same color. That's so strange. I think they all have the same father. Scandalous. Very scandalous. Okay, let's go back here. I think I want to add some, like, floating plants, maybe. Just a few. What's my favorite animal? I like deer, giant anteaters, and goats. And Jaranooks. I like a lot of animals. It's hard to pick a favorite. 
<clears throat> I got some weird birds today. They were dark gray, black with long pointed beaks and light spots on their back. Interesting. Uh, if you guys are interested in birds, download the app called Merlin. Uh, you can ID birds by like picking their description and also by the sound they make. Oh, he's doing the water. Swim. Underwater viewing. Wow. That's an amazing view. I respin the spin wheel and I got Indian peacock. Oh my god. So it's just, I think you're destined to build peacocks forever now. Oh, I love the align to water feature so much. This is amazing. I know these are Amazon lilies, but I just think they look good. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, guys, don't question it. Do not question it. We just need a few. And I think I also want the eel, the eel grass. Which this one, instead of a line of water, we want to do a line to surface. <laughs> you, I love your videos. They help me sleep. Not that you're boring. I just find it relaxing. No, I totally get that. I'm glad you think so. I'm surprised that you pick relaxing because I think my videos, well, making them, I'm usually very stressed because it's a challenge. <laughs> um, But I'm glad that, yeah, like I, I've heard that a lot with the different YouTubers and streamers is like a lot of people put on YouTube to go to sleep. And I love that. That's such a vibe. I've heard of Merlin. I've been meaning to. I love identifying birds. It's so fun. I love that you can do it by the call as well. I only know a few calls. Like I know like the acorn woodpecker, the pileated. I know the woodpecker calls. Um, like my favorite no woodpecker is a northern flicker. And then I know like hawk, certain hawk calls. And I know certain like, I, I don't know a lot of the small birds yet. I'm learning. We're learning. And I'm kind of out of practice because I haven't done it by sound in a while. I mostly just do it by sight because, you know, I'm a visual girly. That's just how it is. Mm -mm -mm. Dang, pluck pulling all the girls. Yeah, you could align shit to the water. It's amazing. Like, they added it quite a while ago. And when I saw that they snuck that in there, I was like, this is life changing. Life changing news frontier. Thank you. Mm -mm. Help me fixing my sleep schedule. I love that for you. Make sure to go to bed early. Make sure to brush your teeth. Uh, make sure the bed bugs don't bite and make sure to get up on time. I can help, I can help you wake up too, just going, ah, so that way you'll hear that in the middle of like your slumber and then you'll be awake on time. If you time it right, if you time the video right, at least. We have a lot of winter wrens calling here. That's cool. Wrens are awesome. Uh, we have a shit ton of Bewix wrens. I actually saw one yesterday when I was hiking and it was very pretty. Uh, wrens are just cute in general. Flickers, yeah. We got the red shafted flicker here in California. And I know over on the East Coast, they have the yellow sha shafted, which is like meaning the red shafted or they have red under their wings and like uh, red like on their cheeks or whatever or something like that. And then uh, the yellow's opposite. They've got yellow under their wings and shit like that's really cool. How long have you been playing Planet Zoo for? Since it came out. Uh, Planet Zoo, I got as a birthday present in 2019 when it released. It was like a little bit of a late birthday present because that was my wish. I was really excited. But particularly in this stream, about, well, hour 55 minutes. <laughs> Play the FNAF jump scare sound at the end of all my videos. Oh my god, that would be evil. I would wake so many people up. It would be a little funny. It would be very malicious. I get some comments like, what the fuck was that about? Like, why are we playing the FNAF jump sound? <laughs> Onyx, more babies. Yeah, we're, look, peacocks have a lot of babies. I have a lot of babies in this zoo. It's just how it is. Optimus Prime has returned. Welcome back, Optimus Prime. <laughs> you should have done it on the 1st of April. Oh, that actually would have been fun because I did do an April 1st stream over on Twitch.tv. Okay, because if you don't know, I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash onyx5. Uh, you can also do exclamation point socials to get the link. I'm plugging the shit out of that because uh, any game that isn't Planet Zoo... Oh, hey, he's underwater. Let's view him. It's an amazing view. I named them Peck and Farter. Farther. Oops. I thought you said Farter. That would be a good name too. I'll do it. I'm the personification of Springtrap though. I don't know any of the FNAF characters, but I'm assuming that's one of the scary guys. I don't know FNAF lore because I never played it. The, my only experience with FNAF is watching someone play it on their iPad uh, in high school when we went to a theater. 
we were like watching a, a play or something or like some I don't know what it was but while we were waiting some kid pulled out their iPad and played FNAF um, that is my only experience with it and I watched the FNAF movie and I was very confused because I don't know any of the lore but I had Josh Hutcherson in it so of course I had to watch it you know how it is <laughs> my cat is lying on my desk that's amazing the cat is watching my YouTube I think your cat is a fan of mine Okay, you know what? I think this habitat is looking pretty complete. We do need to get some enrichment in here for the bongos. Now they have water to drink from, so that should be good. Hold on, we also need to do bedding. <laughs> Their shelter is like so bad, dude. Oh my God. Their shelter is awful. Oh, soccer ball. Yes, that's so cool. We need to turn off a line to surface though. And we'll do the barrel feeder. Everything's gonna roll into water. This is so bad. And I don't like how the tree's all sideways. I don't think we have room for the tree. This is a very small habitat. I want to see how much this has actually come out to of usable area. 520 meters of land area. And they need only like 300, which is crazy. Oh my god, he's using the ball. Wait, that's so cute. Aww. Bongo. You're adorable. Adorable! Show your cat the birds in the game. Oh my god, real. Funny green rabbit man main killer of the series. Okay, I don't know what that is. I like can picture it, right? Like what you're telling me, but I don't think I've seen it like in the in the game or whatever. <clears throat> Calling it bad when I couldn't do anything close to it. Well, it's just like, you know, what kind of bongo would actually be happy here? Probably not many. It's just pool toys, literally. Make one of the oh my gosh, you're right. We need a rubber ducky. Now, bongos can't use them, but my heart can. There you go. They have a rubber ducky now. And you know what? Fuck it. We're going to get a sprinkler, too. Again, I don't think bongos... I'm sorry if I just burped into the mic by accident. By the way, whoopsie daisies. Um, It happened. I, I don't think the bongos can use a sprinkler. But they're going to be forced to. Yeah, they can't use it. They're just going to be sprinkling. I would be so happy there. I think I wouldn't mind living in here. But I think the bongos wouldn't like it as much. Oh my goodness, the peacock babies are sneaking out. Uh-oh. Yeah, you better stop them. Shoot on sight. That's what I say. If your animals are escaping, shoot their ass. I did incremental rotation, didn't I? I don't know how I do it. I will accidentally enable incremental rotation so much. Like, do y'all know what the heck that is about? Because I don't know how I keep doing it. It just keeps happening. And it's very annoying. Okay, I think that is satisfactory. And I've been streaming for about two hours. And unfortunately, that's all we have time for right now. Because we gotta be an adult today. I have stuff I gotta do. So, sad. But, oh my gosh, wait. It's swimming. Guys, 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 guys. We can actually do the underwater view. Oh my gosh. Onyx, I'm ashamed it was Fart and Onyx, the ones you named. Oh my gosh. Of course it was Onyx and Fart, because we're little rebels like that. That's just how it is. <laughs> What's wrong with your Discord? I try and use my account. It says e email address. That's not my Discord. <laughs> Jack the Hellas Horseman. If you're having an issue with Discord saying your email address is already registered that is not a problem with my discord that is a that is a user error okay like i don't know what to do about that when's the next stream we're doing a stream tomorrow at 10 either 9 or 10 a.m i have to check it's on twitch okay whatever it is it's on twitch i think it's at 9 a.m but it might be at 10 uh whatever it is it's on twitch so you can go see it there twitch.tv slash onyx Five. Ew, adulthood. I know, right? And thank you guys for joining the Discord. Fuck, they're so cute. They're like an antelope dog. Literally, I love that this one was swimming and we actually got the underwater viewing. Um, <clears throat> Paleo Dinkum cattails. Oh my gosh, it's going to be Dinkum. Uh, so, you know, we're going to be continuing. We're building a zoo in a different game called Dinkum. You guys, it's so fun. Um, and then I am going to be thinking of doing a different game. Cattails might be a really good one. Let's go over to the just chatting screen. Uh, but this was a really fun stream. I'm so glad we got two habitats. We kind of speed ran it because I would know it's like, okay, I only have two hours that I can stream today because it's almost noon. And I have I have some obligations 
uh, in like an hour or two. So, you know, gotta do that, the darn adulting. Yeah, everyone just go watch that stream tomorrow. Next Planet Zoo stream will also be next week. So I, my goal is to have a Planet Zoo stream at least once a week. So expect that. Um, it's probably, I wouldn't be surprised if my next Planet Zoo stream is next Friday again. Uh, I think Fridays works well for me, but it could be earlier than that. It's just like my availability is really random right now, unfortunately. Um, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, I have a lot of things scheduled. And sometimes those things get scheduled last minute because it's beyond my control. But yeah, don't forget to check out the Twitch stream tomorrow. Uh, if you're in my Discord, you'll get notified when I go live. So that should make it easy for y'all. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed our, our really weird 30 minute challenge. And then the last one, which we did in like an hour, hour and a half, which is pretty impressive. Um, but it was a small habitat. Had to do that. But yes, have fun adulting. Thank you. I will. I love that your peacocks are rebels. Ancient fossil. Good for them. You know, they gotta be stinky like that. Okay, well, I will see you guys in the next stream. Have a great rest of your day. And I can't wait to see you on Jacob tomorrow. Jacob's gonna be so fun.